G'day legends, in this video we are going to be testing out a new dome port from Aquatec. It's called the XLD 12 inch and it is rather large. This is my regular 8 inch dome port which I use for most of my work. Works great for splits, underwater, surf action, lots of things. But this one's more of a specialised dome port for flat water. And today we've found a perfect location on the Sunshine Coast, a little water hole, super flat, super quiet here and me and Billy are just going to go out there and try it. These are normally designed for, these dome ports are normally designed for ultra wide angle lenses, but the first lens I'm going to try is actually a 100mm macro and see if I can get some close up split level shots. Never really done a 100mm inside a dome port before, so it's going to be interesting. And later on we'll be trying out the wide angles inside this ultra wide dome port because that's what it's designed for. But let's see how we go with the 100mm first. So we're in the water with my 100mm and I found this little flower on the banks of the river and uh, that can be our subject for the 100mm macro here. This dome allows me to dip a third of my pool into the water and get an incredibly low angle and just get really close to this little tiny blossom. By doing this it brings in the beautiful lush texture of the swirling water and with the extreme shallow depth of focus it throws the surrounding water right out of focus and the light then gets to play on it so well with the surface of the water. So while I'm not doing a split level with this photo, the dome does allow me to get the lens lower than I would with a flat pour and get that really nice reflection in the foreground. So it's a bit different to what I thought I was going to do with my 100mm macro in here but I'm really liking these results. Now we have found a bigger flower and I'm using the same techniques and settings for this one which were the settings were 1 400th second at f4 for the aperture, ISO 500. I really like the way the water is moving around the flower on this one as well. The images with this 100mm macro were just super crisp and it's my first time shooting through a dome port with a 100mm lens so I was suitably impressed. Next up I decided to get Billy on in the act and shoot some portraits with the same lens. The 100mm is probably my favourite portrait lens on land. And for these ones, I opened my aperture up to 2.8 to get the maximum drop off of uh, focus. The shutter went to 1 640th a second with the ISO remaining at 500. I used the eye focus option on my R5, which worked as well shooting through the dome as it does on land. So I was pretty stoked with that. Once again, I used the reflection of the water in the foreground rather than the split because it gave a better look in my opinion. The water wasn't the best color or clarity for a split for that lens and the reflection just looks so rad so I stuck with the reflection look yeah but let me know which one do you like better the split there or the reflection one there just let me know in the comments be good to know then I came to the banks swapped out my 100 mil for the trusty 15 to 35 mil lens I think this is the best lens for split level photos the wider the better really. I also used my extender piece rather than just screwing it straight, the dome straight into the housing. Not because it needs to to fit because that put, that housing is so big, the dome is so big, but it's better if the lens is flush with the base of the dome port. And this is key to minimize the magnification you get underwater. Look how clean that split line is. So crisp and it's almost seamless from underwater to the above the surface. And this is one of the big strengths of this massive dome port. Also, take a look at the minimal amount of magnification from what is below the surface to what is above. This is because of the roundness and the size of this massive dome port. It solves this problem so well and it's why you would consider this dome over the small, smaller variety like the 8 inch or the 6 inch dome port. I'm going to make a future uh, YouTube video on why this is the case, uh, so for a bit more technical explanation, uh, hang tight for that video in the future. These pictures of Billy with the big dome were taken with my smaller 8 inch dome port and you can see it does a pretty good job. Not quite as clean split but pretty damn good. Only slight magnification under the water, which is, which gets better as I get closer to the subject, but it does magnify a little bit, and the eight inch dome port as an all-rounder is, is a pretty damn good choice, but 
if you want technical splits, better quality splits, and you're in flat water, well then the 12 inch dome port does win out. Okay, so next I took the 12 inch dome port into the pool. I was doing a commercial photo shoot about a week ago and most of it was in the house and you know around the outside it wasn't really water involved but there was a pool there so I managed to work it into the shoot it was for this product which is a greens powder and yeah we got this shot where I focused on the actual product sort of dropped off the background a little bit but gave it a sense of place and she's holding a bottle and sort of worked well with the split level and that's the thing about water photography you can give the client something just a little bit extra most photographers wouldn't be able to get this immersive shot so so a split level of their product and it can give you just a little bit of edge you know and this was the actual hero shot that i was aiming for so fella swimming underwater the girl with the product and just enjoying herself in the sun and you've got the under and over world of a perfectly split level shot which the 12 inch dome port worked really well for so this is probably the hero shot of the pool anyway that we got and uh, yeah pretty happy with that so after the pool shot we're going to move into the ocean see what we get up to there next up we move to the protective waters of Noosa it was a small surf day so nice and flat for us but there was a little bit of chop on the water and this is where the 12 inch dome really comes into its own because the surface of the water it's got a lot more leeway to get that split line when it's uh, bouncing up and down the smaller the dome port uh, the harder it is to get a nice cleaner split line so even though it's quite windy and choppy this day you know I've got half in and out of that of that water and that's probably my favorite shot there got really nice posture and uh, the split line was pretty decent considering the conditions So this one was an ultra quick shoot once again in the beautiful waters of Noosa on the first points. There was actually a few waves this day but the inside section didn't really have too much so the dome port handled it fine. Just wanted to get a few splits. I didn't have much time as my son had to be somewhere else but we were out there long enough to get a bit of a gist of how it would work in yeah, when there's a little, then when there's a few waves around, we didn't shoot surf action, just got him to do some duck diving and shot some fins as well under the water. But once again, it was sort of a windish, windy sort of day, so the surface wasn't super, super glassy or clean. So the 12 inch dome port was accommodating in getting you know, a decent split line. As the dome port, once again, as that dome port gets smaller, it's harder to get that split line. It all either rides up the dome too much or or uh, recedes and doesn't get the split line at all and um, that's why you go from say a flat port to a dome port is to get the more you know the better split line which is almost impossible to achieve a good one on a flat port but then you go to a bigger dome port and that split line uh, is easier to achieve okay legends in summary the XLD 12 inch dome port is it the port for you. It is a specialized port, so you've got to ask yourself a few questions. Do you love split level photos? Because split levels is exactly what it's designed for, not designed for getting out of the water. I took all my might to get it under the water, so not for the underwater photographer, not for the sports action photographer. I wouldn't take it out in waves, anything over say angle height. Maybe you might get away with waist height, but could be pretty dangerous because you just basically can't get it under the surface. So it's designed for flat water. I've taken it out in four flat water locations, showing you what it can do in those in you know four different like 15 minute shoots. So haven't tested it super extensively. There's so many places in Australia that come to mind that this thing would just be unreal. So um, yeah, hopefully I can get it to those locations in the future. But with these four shoots that I have done over the last week or two, um, it shows you what it can be capable of, what its limitations of and where it excels. So it's a specialized bit of equipment, but really good. It's a definite upgrade on there. 16 inch dome even though it's smaller i think it's a little bit more versatile a little bit easier to use but then still retaining that perfect bubble roundness which the eight inch dome doesn't have so 
I think the eight-inch dome is more versatile, and if you're looking for an all-rounder, that's your, that's where to go to. But if you want to get high level with your split photography, if split level is where you want to be, if you want to go up against the competition of the best split level photographers in the world, well then, I would suggest looking at this 12-inch dome port. Remember, I've always got a code for every day of the year if you want to get any Aquatech products, and that is AF-TomWoods-AUS. And when they've got a sale on, I've got a different code. So I'll put all the links below so you can get the right codes to get yourself a discount. You get a 10% discount on uh, all the Aquatech products. So uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in today. Please let me know if any questions you've got. I know there's a lot of curiosity around these massive dome ports and uh, yeah, love to know your questions, love to know your thoughts, if you've had a go at them and uh, yeah, what you reckon. So thanks for tuning in today. See you in the next video.